uh, no establishment and free exercise clause was a Christian doctrine. If you read the history behind it and if you knew the writers coming up to that point and the political influences at the time, you would realize that these perspectives were biblical that the no establishment and uh, uh, free exercise clause were driven by people who believed that we were created by God, that we had the ability to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship and accountability with God, and that the government was, was not um, allowed to actually interfere or coerce people uh, at the point of a sword, making somebody believe or behave a certain way that would cause them to violate their conscience. Because what eventually will happen is that those who would oppose uh, your a traditional Christian moral view are going to be writing the laws. And eventually those laws are going to be an offense to you. And then you're going to have to make a decision on whether you can obey them or not. And that's going to stress you out. You know why? Because you've read First Peter chapter 2. And the reason why that is happening and it's going to continue happening is because it seems that those who have been fed some very good information about civic duty, loving their neighbor as themselves, uh, making sure that uh, morality and protection of the weakest member of our society, that our children are protected, those of you who have been trained in that way are not standing up to go be salt and light on the influence of public policy. The people who are supposed to be running our government are ministers of God, and the ministers are, in their, are not in there doing it, I think we're going to have a few catastrophes. Who is going to do it? So if the government is a minister, shouldn't it be a minister who's doing government? I say over and again, Proverbs 29, 5, evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. So who is it that we are going to have to be a minister of God for our good? Have you thought about it? Are you doing what it takes to make sure the right person is there to do the right thing? This Faith and Freedom broadcast is brought to you by Freedom Ministries. You can find out more about Freedom Ministries on the internet at www.faithfreedom.org or by calling 757-850-850. One, two, four, five. I will choose to listen. Then.